specific technique anymore. It can start in different ways. Sometimes I might draw it out a little bit. Sometimes I might just start putting the paint down. I just kind of go with my gut instinct. It's not about the final product. It's about the doing that feels so good. I don't know how the painting is going to end out in the end. And sometimes I'm, I'm very happy about it. It's like, wow, I didn't expect that to happen. It, and I can't repeat it. Painting outside is great. You know, you really get a feel for the area um, that you're painting. You know, so the painting is not just a little glimpse of time. It is actually uh, over a time period, a couple of hours. So many things can happen at that time. Light can change. And I know it frustrates some artists because things are moving, but if you just roll with it, sometimes you find exciting things that you wouldn't have seen five minutes before that. You know, maybe the way a shadow goes across the ground or the way the light hits a building just right to get a particular color or effect. Uh, so you're, I'm kind of gathering up the best of what's happening over the two or three hour period. It, it's really, hard for me to say why I paint something. Uh, when, when I see it, I know it, and there's something about it that's interesting to me, and so I'll paint it. Paintings are actually very abstract in themselves, um, because when I paint, I'm painting what I see. I'm, I'm not trying to paint things, like people or buildings or flowers. I'm trying to paint the light pattern that I see. So it's a very abstract way of thinking. I'm thinking about light and dark shapes. I'm not thinking about buildings or people or flowers. So when I assemble a painting, I am trying to assemble it in an abstract way, which thinks a lot about composition, the placement of light and dark, uh, before there's any real imagery there to look at. Um, but I think if you establish a real good abstract relationship between the lights, the darks, and the colors, once you start filling it in with more detail to create the imagery, then hopefully it holds together. The dark and light patterns, the values, I think are very important. Uh, first, because for one, that's what's the first thing you see when you look at a painting from across the room. You're going to see the light and dark pattern uh, along with the color. And it's not so you get closer that you can find all the details in it. So hopefully the painting has uh, a strong impact from a distance that would want people to take a closer look at it. When you're painting for a while, you just kind of get in this frame of mind. And you may not see the obvious if you're thinking this way. And so often I'll just stop painting for 10 or 20 minutes and I'll just walk away and walk around and think about something else and then come back and then I can see the painting with fresh eyes. You know, sometimes I'll just throw the paint up and just start pushing it around, scraping it, adding paint, removing paint, and just kind of watching it develop almost uh, as, a, as an observer myself. I kind of never quite know exactly where it's going to go but once you start painting, the painting kind of tells you where to go. So I just uh, obey it <laughs> and take it where it wants me to take it.